everybody. I have a pen that I'm gonna show you today that is not only sassy, but it's also zazzy. Is that a word, zazzy? What show is that? Big Bang Theory, Zazzle, Zazzy. <laughs> this is a pen that I discovered not that, well, it wasn't really that long ago, it was maybe a couple months ago, and it was just absolutely stunning. And I was just wowed by it. I started reading the details about this pen. And the pen I'm talking about, I know it's like, what's the name of the pen? What is its name? Well, it is the Walvin Zetra Vienna Lady. So it is, you know, by its name, it is more of a feminine pen. And the colors that I got here also is a bit more feminine, but let's take a look at it and then you can figure out for yourself if it's for you or not. It comes in this black box that has Walvin on the outside of it. Take it off. And this front flap opens up, so you have another box, which is a matte black material. It says Waldman here on the front, and it has this elegant silver, I don't know what you call it, but it just really makes the box look elegant. I'm sure it has like a, an official fancy name for it. I just don't know what that is. <laughs> So open up the box and boom, there is your Zetra Vienna lady. And she is gorgeous. Before we look at the pen, let's look at what comes in the box. And you get this disclaimer, and this came with the last review I did on the Waldman Tuscany. And basically it says, and I think it's nice that they warn us because <laughs> this high end, this, high-end writing instrument, has a cap with a screw system. Please, please do not pull the cap. Just don't do it. Because you'd hate to mess this gorgeous pen up before you can even ink and write it, right? Well, I'm glad they put that there because you know the way it looks, I'll just take it out of plastic. But the way this pen looks, it does look like you would pull the cap off, but which that is obviously not the case, according to the disclaimer that comes with the pen. I'm gonna pull up, let's see here, it has a little tab right here. So pull off that false bottom. And inside we have some six blue ink cartridges in a nice little Waldman box a polishing cloth that comes with it. That's to get rid of those pesky fingerprints. Although this one doesn't look like it's gonna be a bad fingerprint magnet, but it'll help you wipe, the, wipe off the finger oils that might accumulate on the barrel and the section. A converter, that's always a bonus. And some, hold on, let me get it. It's hard to get things sometimes, these my nails are getting kind of long. Comes with a Waldman International Warranty Card. So once you get one of these, that means you got the real deal. Congratulations. No, congratulations to me. You're welcome, self. It also comes with this little tag, which is also good to know. Sterling Silver. So this pen, it does come in this little plastic sleeve to keep it safe and precious until you get it. So basically, this pen, it is a metal pen, but it's not just any metal. The entire thing is made from sterling silver. And then of course, we have a white coating over this. I know, so that makes it really extra special being that it is this fabulous, sterling silver writing instrument. So it's not just like some uh, brass pen. Uh, I mean, to me, you know, sterling silver, it's a very, you know, to me that communicates something that is very, um, you know, expensive, very special heirloom quality types of stuff. So, I mean, this is a pen I could see 
having and maybe passing this along to my daughter who doesn't write with fountain pens. In fact, she and my son make fun of me because I love fountain pens so much. I really envy those parents who have children that are using fountain pens. Must be nice. Let's take a closer look at this cap because the cap, that is kind of what the, you know, the main attraction of this pen is at first glance. So take a look at that patterning. What would you say if I told you that this beautiful intricate patterning on the cap is hand engraved? Yeah, it is all done by hand. So I mean, it's like, like jewelry, right? So hand engraved and the patterning is just beautiful. And if you've touched the cap, you can feel a texture of it when there's like a lacquer over that. So it's not sharp or anything, but visually it is very pleasing to the eye. Just absolutely gorgeous. I just think it's really cool. You have these people who are hand engraving this beautiful patterning on here. Also, if you look closely, if you're able to see, I mean, it's really tiny, it's really tiny. And you might not, but right here, states it's a 925, which means that it is made out of sterling silver. So rest assured, they're not pretending it's made out of, it really is. It's marked, it's beautiful, it's fabulous. It also has a nice spring-loaded clip. So let's see, yeah, look at that. It's nice, it's really nice. I love the beautiful white and rose gold color scheme. The rose gold trim is just beautiful. And I love that this patterning matches all of that. So you have the finial, which is bare, have the Waldman symbol or logo mark here on the clip. And it's very subtle, which I love that, you know, they're keeping everything because it also says Waldman right here at the bottom of the cap. And then right here, made in Germany. And they keep it very subtle. You know, it doesn't take away from the overall design. And that is something I really appreciate. I'm unscrewing it just to be sure I'm following the directions. So we've got a beautiful color coordinated matching rose gold grip section. And we also have a stainless steel nib with rose gold plating. So I'm really curious to see how the Waldman uh, stainless steel nib writes. If it writes as good as I think it's going to write. I have the 18 karat gold nib on my Tuscany pen. So this time around, I kind of wanted to see what's going on with the stainless steel. You know, if it, if it feels different, if it feels similar, I just wanted to see what the differences are. So that's what I opted for this. It's a smaller size nib. It looks like it's a number five stainless steel nib. I think it's lovely. That is a lovely nib. I love that it matches the rest of the pen. I think that's really special. Uh, let's see here. So we know that it comes with a converter, but let's go ahead and unscrew this section from the barrel. And what comes inside, we've got this little thing, probably, uh, you know, it's an empty cartridge to protect here, probably to protect it from getting scratched up or something. And it sounds like we've got another uh, ink cartridge and there's another ink cartridge in here. Which is also cool because, you know, it shows that you can have, if you don't use a converter, you could put an ink cartridge into the section and then keep a spare in the barrel of the pen. So just in case you run out. I, of course, am going to opt for the converter because I like to use different colored inks. I don't really like to be married to just one color, like, you know, black or, or blue. I am more, I'm all about more colors. In fact, I'm kind of having... I guess it's kind of a red moment because the pen, this pen, I think is going to look super fabulous with, put this cap back on because I don't want to drop this and then really mess that nib up. So um, I'm going to ink it with dirty red. I think it's going to look nice with the rose gold. It's like it's going to post the way that this, um, the end of the barrel is shaped. So, and it does, and it goes on so nice and it's flush with the rest of the pen. Here's what it looks like in hand. It actually looks, you know, it's it elongates the pen a little bit, but you know, I feel that it's not like extra heavy at the end. It, it feels a little more balanced, but it's nice. Let's see what it looks like without. 
So I normally write with my pens not posted. Some of you guys might write with it posted, but I have to say that I'm not hating it posted. And just when it's posted, look how gorgeous this looks. Just looks stunning. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink this really beautiful pen up with Colorverse Dirty Red. And let's see how that steel nib writes. joining me for this look at the Waldman. It's got a long name to it. You know, I have to write it down so I can see what it says. A Waldman Zetra, that's Z-E-T-R-A, Zetra Vienna Lady. And she is a glorious lady. And I must say that stainless steel nib did not let me down at all. I mean, how can you, you know, a pen that writes so nice, that looks like this with this sterling silver, white lacquer. Uh, apparently the gold, it's 24 karat gold plated. And uh, again, it's a, to me, it's a pen that could be passed down. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous and a great writer. And I just, I love the way it looks. I'm really starting to get a thing for these metal pens. What's gonna really wow you is the price of this pen because for what it is, I'm really surprised that the price is this reasonable. The MSRP is $350 and I have seen it as low as $280. You can also, uh, if you're not into the stainless steel and you prefer gold nibs, there is a gold nib option to this pen. And I don't know off the top of my head how much that costs, but really their gold nib option it's not really that much more. So if you wanna make the investment into a gold nib, it's possible, absolutely possible. The pen, it's impeccable. 
the design, everything. I mean, it really is an impeccable pen. It's gorgeous. Oh, well, that's all I have to say about it. I hope that you found this video useful and helpful. And that's how the ink flows.